Okay, hey guys, we're back with um, the cookie clicker. I know it's been a long time, but um, uh, we're back. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to be talking about exponential growth, um, or exponential growth in the upgrades, at least not in real life. Now, I would love my money to grow exponentially, but sadly, it will not. Um, anyway, um, that's what we're going to be working on today. The main reason I'm not going to move on with the CPS just now is because I've been asked by many people, both in real life and online, how um, exponential growth works in incremental games. So um, I just thought that I'd show you now. Um, it's quite simple. And we'll just get right into it. Okay, so let's get into this. Um, I'm going to just quickly talk about what I, mean, what I mean by exponential growth and what we do not want in our program in our game sorry um so linear progression is what we do not want that's what everyone hates so that's when um our baker price goes up by one each time so it starts at 20 the next time you buy it will cost 21 the next time you buy it, it costs 22 the next time you buy it, it costs 23 and then guess what it costs 24 the next time and it goes on like that forever and it just becomes incredibly easy to buy upgrade you tap it twice and you get a new upgrade and it's just incredibly boring because there's just no progression, there's no challenge, it's just tapping buttons. Um, I mean, that's what cookie clicker is, but that's whatever. Um, so we want exponential growth. So the first upgrade may cost 21, but the next one will cost... Sorry, the first upgrade costs 20. The next one will cost 21. But the next one after that will cost 22.5. The next one will cost 24. The next one will cost... 26, next one will cost 30, and then 34, and then eventually you get to like uh, 250, 6, and then the next upgrade is 298, and then, uh, and then you go on again, you're like, it costs $11,224, and then the next upgrade above that is like 1500, um, 15,000, sorry. So that's what exponential growth is, it, it increases by an exponent, which causes uh, the price of it to increase exponentially. Um, and that's what we want in our game, because linear progression is boring. Exponential progression... It's kind of thick. Okay, anyway. Um, this is quite easy to implement in programming. Um, so yeah. First of all, we've got to change this 20 to a variable. So we're going to call it Baker Price. Also got to replace this. So now we can alter the price that it costs to buy Baker off of this variable. And it starts off at 20. Um, so we'll just do, we'll start off with linear progression because we're not, we're plebs and we're going to move on from that. Um, so Baker price plus equals one. So each time you buy a new one, it'll, it'll increase by one. And we're just going to create a P tag. And we'll just give an idea of Baker price text, and I'm going to do a little cheat, and copy and paste this, and just change it up, Baker price text, in HTML equals Baker price plus Baker price, and this will just tell us um, how much the a new Baker will cost us to buy. So we just Baker cookie, come on, let's buy Baker. I've got a baker, and now it costs C. It costs 21 now for the next one. So we need 21 cookies. Now it costs 22. Now it costs 23. You can see how boring this is. Look how easy it is for me to upgrade. So this is called linear growth. Linear growth sucks. No one likes you, linear growth. Everyone hates you. You have no friends. Okay. Um, yeah, we're running low. Uh, so yeah, we do not want linear growth. Instead, we want exponential growth, so we times it by an exponent. We're going to make that 1.1. Now, this is pretty slow exponential growth, and it's, it's what you'll see at the starting stages of most cookie clickers. So it's And it's usually uh, by about 1.1, which is a 10% increase every upgrade. And what we're going to find is it'll look really weird. It'll look really weird. Um, so the first one, totally fine. But as soon as we buy a new one, it goes to some crazy decimals, and even more crazy decimals. And it's just, we don't want this. We want to round it to the nearest whole number. 
So what we do, instead of having all of this, we have all of this. Math.round. And what math math.round is a uh, JavaScript function, and literally it math.rounds, it rounds numbers up. It's yeah, I think it's quite self-explanatory. Um, so we want Baker Price to equal the rounded version of Baker Price times 1.1. Pretty simple JavaScript, and you will find that that has completely solved our problem. Right, see, so look, we don't get any more crazy decimals. How cool is that? So look, it increases by 3 now. So currently it's increasing by 3, so Baker Price is 35. Boom, it just increased by 4. That's good exponential growth. Um, let's raise this exponent to something a bit bigger, so 1.7. So now the price of uh, the Baker will increase by 70% each time. Um, it's, this will just give you a visual representation of what exponential growth looks like. So it started off at 20, and now the Baker price is 34. So we'll, we'll see another 70% increase, so now it's 58. And now it's 99. And as you can see, it's becoming harder and harder for me to get a new Baker. Having to tap more and more to get a new Baker. Having to butterfly click my mouse. Come on. Let's get one more upgrade. This has got to like bloody 400. Yeah, 486. Um, so yeah, that's exponential growth. That's so cool. We've just implemented that. We're going to change it back to 1.1 because we want an easy experience to start off with. And in future upgrades, we'll increase that exponent. Um, but yeah, so that's how you implement exponential growth. Hopefully this video was tutorial. I'm going to start uh, uploading more videos on this cookie clicker just because I think it's it's really cool. It's like really has some really cool concepts behind it. Um, next one, I think we will do the cookies per second. So that involves this cool little function over here. Set interval. Let's give you a little taste test. This is what we're going to be using next next video. So yeah, thank you for watching. Um, I hope it helped you out. Uh, I'm going to be posting like uh, follow-up videos with less of a gap than the last one. Last gap was like six months, so I'm sorry about that. Um, the next one, next video will be out pretty soon, I hope. Um, so yeah, drop a like, drop a uh, subscribe if you want. Just hope it helped you out and show your friends.